Hello. Hey, everybody. Okay, here I am with my new look. See, I have lipstick on, I have earrings, see, and I have my hair up like this. This is my new look. This is my free spirit look. What do you think? I think it's a little goofy. I want to be goofy. That is the goal I have in life, is to be goofy. So, I, oh, excuse me here, just let me, excuse my boarding house reach. Um, um, I, I'm here just to show, not just to show, but um, I'm here to show you what I got in the mail. Because I get mail, and I get mail, and I get mail, and people just keep sending me more mail, and I get more excited, more excited, more excited, and, um, and so that's what I am doing right here. Wait a minute, let me check something. Okay, now, and so, and you know what I did this morning? I called my doctor because I was a little too concerned about this 12-hour trip that we're taking to Alabama for the wedding. You've all heard about the wedding. And um, because my feet swell up like little puff balls, you know, and so got a little circulation issue going on there. And, and then I got this little con CHF, which means comfortable flower foundation, comfortable flower foundation. And, um, and, and, you know, I was a little concerned about the trip. So I called this morning. I figured I got to find out for sure if I'm going to be all right traveling, you know, 12 hours. And so he said, as long as I wear my compression hose and we stop every two hours and walk at least like two minutes and then get back in the van and we'll be fine. So I got the go ahead from my doc. He's my friend, my doc. I'm friend. I, I, you know, when you start getting up in the levels of this game of life, and I'm there at level 68, you know, and so, you know, things start getting rusty. And in my, I was going to call it a corpse, but I don't have a corpse because I'm still alive. But, you know, you know, things is getting rusty. And so I need an oil change, a lube job, new spark plug. New battery. I need it all. Need my tires rotated. Yeah, because I'm at level 68 now. So I want I want to open my mail, but I usually just only open my mail when I'm on worldwide, on the World Wide Web, where everyone in the world and in Buckingham Palace can see what I have. So now I'm going to turn you down to the showroom floor. Just a minute. La, 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 la. Okay, this is the showroom floor. Now, one, two, three, four. Now, talk about spoke rotten. That's me. Spoke rotten. You know, when I was growing up, I wasn't spoke rotten, but my sister was. I was jealous. Because my sister was sport rotten. And I wasn't. I wanted to be sport rotten. But now I am sport rotten. So first of all, my first how do how does Vanna White do this? My first showing of the in behind door number one is from my very wonderful friend Sybil Gebhardt. And do you know that she lives in Germany? I wonder if she eats a lot of sauerkraut and sausage. Bratwurst. Bratwurst and sauerkraut. I think about that as being German. What if she eats that stuff? You know what? Now that I mention it, I think I want some. Hmm. Okay, now I... See, on here on the envelope, because they have to put like a customs label on there, she wrote junk for journals. There is nothing better than junk. Is someone at my door? 
oh, you're just letting dogs in. Okay. I thought I had important customer or something. This is just the hubster. Okay, now, let me show you here what she sent me for junk for my journals. Love it. I love junk. I love junk. Istra, part of Croatia. Oh, yeah, that's right. She made a trip to Croatia. She did. Istra culture. Oh my goodness. This is a, a, um, a flyer. Oh look, it's a map of Croatia. Boy, do I wish I had a great huge wall just to put all the maps I have. This is a, this is Istra, Istra. I guess it's Istra, Croatia. <coughs> so she went to Croatia. She got me this here map. Now, I would, well, I would read all this if I could speak German or read German, but this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And do you know that this is going to make awesome um, journal pages? Because I love journal, making journal pages out of other languages. So if there's anything risque or anything in, in them, can't blame it on me. We can blame it on Sybil. Now, um, and this one too, look at that beauty. Oh, look at that Im image. That is going to be beautiful in a journal. And here's some more images. And I'm going to kind of just assume they're from Croatia. And, um, oh, these are awesome. Majestic. I know what that is. Majestic, even if it um, is in German. I know it means majestic because it's got most of the same letters. Oh, look at this. You know what? I needed a picture like this with the umber cells. Umber, umber cells? You see that? What happened into my tongue? I get my tongue wrapped around my eye teeth and I can't see what I'm saying. And so they're much umbrellas. But you know, my hum, hum, hum. Oh. My hubster calls him Umbersauce. And so, um, but there's a page in my scavenger hunt book, book that needs umbrellas. You know what? Y'all give me a thumbs up on this thing right now before you get completely distorted because of my tongue. Because of my tongue's problems. Yeah, I needed that picture. Oh, look at these stones. Like when they build houses or fences and stuff out of stone, that is like a, um, it's like artwork. Oh, you know what this looks like? This looks like the, of course I can't read it. Um, it looks like part of the Colosseum. But I'm sure it's something different. But look, it's got a sunset. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness, my gracious. Look at these. Look at that. I'm just going to assume all this stuff's from Croatia. You know, there are some beautiful places. You know, I probably would assume that people that live in other countries and they come to the U.S. of A, America, they probably think, oh my gosh, they've got such beautiful places. But you know, I've been here on my life, so I just think everything looks regular. And then when I see pictures from, this is Croatian, it's Croatian, Croatia. Oh, yes. So this is the Croatian part of Croatia, I'm assuming. I wonder how far Croatia is from Germany. Now I gotta go look at my outdoor on my on my world map to see how far she went. Okay, and this oh Parco del Sculpture Sculpture or Sarah. Now, how do you put a D and a Z together? Dizamoja. Dizamoja. Zamoja. And this is sculpture. Ooh, these are really neat. They're all sculptures. I, I find so much interest 
in these sculptures and I in in any kind of sculptures because you know what I think I think people who look at them each person as they're looking at them probably sees something different these are awesome images I like these you these are gonna make really really good tags in journals real good tags very very good tags I wonder if this dude is the artist that did all them Parco del Sculpture Parco del Sculpture Zamanja I love them. I see now I would, you know, if I was somewhere where they had these sculptures, I would have to go and touch them and stand by them. They're awesome. Okay. That's the sculptures. And then here, oh, she sent me a card. Oh, look at the little kitty cats. I just love kitty cats. And I would have a house. I'd be the crazy cat lady if my husband wasn't allergic. And so I love kitty cats, though. And so I love the pictures of them. They're so pretty. And this card is so pretty. This card, look at the edge of the card. That is so pretty. Some pictures and a map from my trip to Croatia. Maybe you like it for your world journal. Enjoy it and have a lot of fun as you build your journal with love, Sybil. And yes, I, oh, look at this. Isn't that cute? Is that a big reindeer or a bunny rabbit? It says, oh, my dear. <laughs> and so um, now there will be enough things to put on my Croatia page and extras to put in my journals. So thank you very much, Sybil, for thinking of me even on your trip to Croatia. That just warms my heart, just warms the cockles of my heart. Okay, and then as I go, Beetle Chick, Beetle Chick, she is a cool, she's, I like her a lot. Beetle Chick. She changes her name every once in a while because I think she's hiding from the FBNI and the CINA. I do believe she's hiding because she changes her name. So usually if people change their name on a regular basis like that, they're usually hiding from the law. So I'm thinking that Beetle Chick is hiding from the law. So see, I covered her address. So if the FBNI is watching this, they will not know where she is. I'm helping her. I am helping her hide from the law. Okay, now, here is purple. Now, I don't know if you all know this, but purple is the only color in the world. Well, maybe not the only color, but it is my favorite color. Oh, look at there. She's got purple tags. She's got purple um embossed papers in, with music notes embossed with music notes i love that just just oh ooh, 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 ooh. and look here is a now where is this from um little miss vicky little miss vicky oh i can't tell your name it's vicky but she's really beetle chicken she's got a lot of aliases you know when you're hiding from the fbi if B and I. Okay, this is from North Carolina. I could have just read it, read it right here on the front. There's even a phone number if I want to call them. It's from the Maya Gallery. Fine art and fine craft. I bet that is an awesome place to go. And look at the bear. Do you see the bear? He's coming to get you. That's the bear. And look at this. Now, she didn't sign this, but I'm believing that she did some mixed mo mixed media mashup on this and then cut it apart and made postcards. And this is beautiful. It says, you can't skip 
and be unhappy at the same time. I read that without my glasses. You cannot skip and be unhappy at the same time. So when you're going somewhere, just skip. If you're at the grocery store buying groceries, skip down the alley. Just skip and go ahead and sing how much is that doggy in the window while you're skipping. And you will be happy and you'll make everyone else happy. So you do that. And here is two. Ooh, my power just went out and came back on again. That was weird. And here's me some circles. You know what you can do with these circles? You know... I started making these circle doohickeys, like, they're like, um, well, doohickeys, these things here, these, like, discs, they're, um, ATC discs, and, but somebody told me they had to be two and a half inches, I was making, some of them were much bigger than two and a half that I made, and, um, but then somebody told me they had to be two and a half inches. So I made some that are two and a half inches. I don't know what. But I could still. I don't, since I don't go with the flow. I don't follow directions. I could make these into A, C, T, T, C. There goes that tongue wrapping around my eye teeth again. Can't see what I'm saying. But anyway, I could make A, T, C circles, discs out of that. Thank you. And now... Let's see, Beetle. Beetlejuice. Which Beetle are you? John, George, Paul, or Ringo? See these little bags? I bet she made them. I don't know, though. They look professional. If she made them, she's professional. <gasps> look at these butterflies. They are definitely flutterbys. Oh, how pretty is that? Now, see, I have a butterfly punch, and I have a couple of butterfly, well, I got at least one butterfly punch, but nothing like this. Look at these, and it's like I am in a butterfly garden. Oh, I love them. Thank you, Miss Beetle, Paul, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Paul McCartney was my favorite of all the Beatles. And then I do like the Volkswagen Beetle. The movie Beetlejuice wasn't half bad either. Look at them. I love them. Marshmallow. Marshmallows? Those are not marshmallows, Elizabeth. Those are flutterbys. See, I call things by the wrong names. The other day I was saying something about to my daughter. We was talking about her lawnmower. And I went to say the word lawnmower and I said refrigerator. Now let's see what's in this one. Little bitty things. Oh, they're all little bitty hearts. Oh, hearts and butterflies. And a generous amount and purple. Do you see them little hearts? I like the shapes of them hearts. They're not your normal, everyday, boring. Oh, I shouldn't say boring because a shape of a heart is never boring. Thank you, Miss Vicky Beetle. John George Parlingo. And here, there's something in this one. There is. Let me see. Let's pour them out. <gasps> More butterflies. More for. These are different than the other flutterbys. Oh, how pretty. She punched that one out of music notes. So that is a singing butterfly. Oh, see, some of these I got to punch the little doodads out of them. Once I punch the doodads out of them, then they're even more filigree. You know what? I broke my thumbnail yesterday. I always keep these four fingernails clipped short, but I don't clip my thumbnails real short because they are they they work as tools, and I broke one of my tools. Yeah. So now I need a new tool. Well, or just let my tool grow back. But um. Okay, but anyway, you catch my drift here. Oh, that's two butterflies. I got a lot of butterflies. 
I have one little tin out there in the other room. That's just, it's, I call it just butterflies. And I put my butterflies in there. And this, these are going to go live in that tin. Because it's almost empty. Because I use them up. Because I put butterflies on everything. I just put them on everything. And these are beautiful butterflies. Thank you, Vicky Beetle. Beetle Vicky. Beetle Juice. Beetle Bailey. Remember Beetle Bailey? Oh, look at these birds. Oh. That's where the hearts came from. Look. Look at this bird. And did you see the um, the little hearts in a package over there? That's where the hearts come from was out of the little birds. Isn't that adorable? And look at that. I love these ones with the music because they're white with gold trim. If you can see that. Isn't she beautiful? Or he? He or she? Oh, and so many. So many. I would count them for you, but I don't know if I can count that high. I do not know if I can count that high. And because I can't keep you really long, because I want you to live with me, but I know you want to live in your own house. Anyway, my house is a total disaster, so you might not want to live here. But anyhow, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you, my dear Beetle. Volkswagen. My Volkswagen. Now, Isla Boyd. She lives in the beautiful state of Pennsylvania. Isla Boyd. Now, she sent me this here package. And so I'm going to give it a little snippety doo dah down here on the edge. Snippety doo dah. Okay. And I'm going to see what is in here. Again, we have... <gasps> Look, she sent me... Now I have got... Look at this, girlfriend. Marcel Deli Wrap Interfolded Wax Paper. Master Size... Box of 5,500. Oh, she must have bought 500. Look how big these are. Now, do you know that Miss Janie, oh, she sent the same brand. Miss Janie sent me a box of littler ones. Now I have these big, large ones. And, oh, see, so at Amazon... Let me see. That's where you can order these. So if I want more. Oh, yeah. See, these are much bigger than the ones that I got from Janie even. So between the ones I got from Janie and these, I am cooking on gas. I am cooking on gas. There is thunder again. I'm telling you, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, aunts and uncles, grandmas and grandmas and unicorns, that we have had a lot of rainy weather and thunder. I don't mind the rain. We need the rain because it waters my plants. And oh, look at this. Pennsylvania. Now, when I was just a wee lad, well, I was never a lad, but when I was just grown up and I lived up in Minnesota and we had a dairy farm and this is what all of our dairy cows looked like. They were all Holsteins. That's Holsteins, those cows. We had a few Jersey cows, but most of them were Holsteins. And they looked like this, and this just brings me home, even though this one's in Pennsylvania. I'm sure that these cows were related to my cows somehow, even though it's been 50-some years ago. How long have I been down here in Florida? 50, 68 minus 14, 54 years? Holy smokes. 
Yeah, I do believe these can, these are relatives. With agriculture as one of the leading in the ild, industries, Pennsylvania has farmland in 66 of the 67 counties. Well, that makes me love Pennsylvania because I love farmland. Oh my gosh, I have the best, 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 something. What was I going to say? I got the best friends. They send me the best, beautiful things. Now, this is the Golden Triangle in Pitts, Pittsburgh. My, I think, oh gosh, my memory is going kaput. My Aunt Margaret, she worked all her life at Steel. Pittsburgh Steel? I don't remember. Oh, it was in Philadelphia, though, wherever. Maybe it was Philadelphia Steel? Pennsylvania? I mean, she lives in Pittsburgh. No. Pennsylvania. They're all P words, so they get Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But she worked at the U.S. Steel. I don't know where she worked now. But look at there. That is the triangle, and it looks like a triangle. And then, that's downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the Golden Triangle, and Point St. Park, the Allegheny River, and the Mono. The Monogalia River converge at Pittsburgh Point to, to form the Ohio River. Oh, well, there's me some more knowledge in my brain. And look, oh my gosh, there's no room to build another doghouse right there. Look at that. It's a wonder there's not so many buildings there that the whole place is sunk. Aerial view of downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and the city's two stadiums, Heinz Field in the foreground and PNC Park in the middle left. Wow, Pittsburgh is one big place. I mean, and there is no more room to grow. Holy Hannah. Yeah, you couldn't even put a bird cage out there. It wouldn't fit. Okay, and here's Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. Heinz Field, located on the north shore of the Ohio River in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Heinz Field serves as home field for the Pittsburgh Steelers and the University of Pittsburgh Panthers football teams. Oh, my grandson loves the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's his favorite, favorite, favorite. Um, his whole, I, I think his whole wardrobe is Pittsburgh Steelers. Shirts, breeches, socks, everything. Well, right now it is jail clothes, but when he gets out of there, he will wear his Pittsburgh Steelers stuff again. Now, what? pray tell is in here. First of all, it has got some washi tape. That is cool washi tape. I've not seen that kind of washi tape. It's got like, um, like, um, it's got like, um, tickets, like tickets. Oh, we special think, she says. What is she thanking me for? No blank cards are sending with thank you for making craft videos. Watch your video of how you use small priority boxes at the beginning of this video. You mentioned not having deli wrap. Well, I have a box half full and decided to share some with you. I have also added some parchment paper as it works as well. Even coffee dyed. Love watching your productions. Um, wishing you the best day ever, Isla. Thank you, sweet darling. Oh, my goodness, Isla. This is, that's so kind. And you didn't have to send anything. But now I have got, um, I have got parchment, I mean, deli wrap paper to last for the rest of my life. Now, this is coffee dyed 
parchment paper. And look at this. I have some parchment paper, but I never thought to coffee dye it. Because all I've ever done with it is bake cookies on it. And now I see that I, I can coffee and tea dye parchment paper. And look how, oh, listen. I love it. Again, inspiration. Oh, and here she says, this is Dollar Tree parchment paper. Dollar Tree. So a roll of this parchment paper, and it's a nice weight. Parchment would be a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I can afford that. Thank you, Isla. This is this is very inspirational for me. I mean, I have got inspiration now. This is great. So I'm going to be tea dyeing this paper as well. I'm just going to tea dye everything I touch. My husband better sit still in his chair. I'll tea dye. Thank you, Isla. That is beautiful. What a beautiful. And you live in an awesome place. My goodness. Now, this here package comes all the way from Victoria, Australia. And from down under, from Tiana, I mean Tania, Tania Kowalowski. It's got a little heart on there. And look how all this glitter, I bet the mailman's got glitter all over himself. Ah, yeah, I bet he is. Yeah, I bet his, he goes home and his wife probably says, excuse me, where have you been today? <laughs> uh -huh. And then he tries to tell her, all I was doing was delivering mail. She goes, no, not with all that glitter on you. You had to have been scooting around on me. Yeah. Now, we got a really nice mailman. I think he's just awesome. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. My leg just said ouch to me. No, I said ouch to my leg. Wait a minute. I'm going to try and not cut myself with these scissors. Don't want to cut myself with these scissors. Now, it says here that it cost her $15.85 to mail this little package. Now, if their $15.85 is the same as our $15 saving um, our $15.85, then that means they overcharged her immensely. So hopefully, wait a minute here, hopefully that um, this here, I think I read on here, oh yeah, it said, congratulations, healing art. It was a random drawing, and this was a prize. And I got it on the random drawing. So now I'm going to see my prize. Voila. Voila. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. oh. Voila. Okay. This is, okay. Wait a minute. Now it says on here, my random loyalty draw prize and a couple of extra things you may like to use for your mixed media projects. Love from down under. Meekness is not weakness. Sir William Gurney Benham said that. If there was righteous in the heart, there will be beauty in character. There will be harmony in the house. There will be order in the nation. Where there is order in the nation, there will be peace in the world. And that is a Chinese proverb. And that is so true. 
I'm going to put that with my my things that I read on a regular basis. I mean, because I like to, oh, look at this napkin. Look at them owls. It's a family. Mr. Owl, Mrs. Owl, and Baby Owl. Oh, this is a very soft napkin from Australia. This is an Australian family of owls. And then here is an Australian peacock. Look how pretty is that. And here is the Statue of Liberty, which now this comes from Australia. Is it an Australian Statue of Liberty? Or is it our very own? Do you know they might have one in Australia? That would be good to know. Now, and this, oh, how cute. Look at this image she cut out. Look at him. How cute is he? I am in love. Look at that. That is going to go on a mixed media project of mine. I'm going to do a mixed media, and this is going to be the focal point. I love him. And then look at the little bird. Okay, now I don't know if she was cutting out the monkey, I mean the bird, or on the other side, the monkey. But a bird and a monkey. A monkey and a bird. Thank you, thank you. And oh, what is this? What is this? More stuff for journal making. Oh, I am a happy. You guys make me like the happiest. I'm the happy. Okay, I can't sing. I'm the happiest girl in the whole USA. Zippity doo. Oh, but anyway. Here are some scraps of paper that I can use in my journals. And look. Oh, this one has a train on it. I am a train freak, too. I love trains. I've never been on a train. I'd love to go on a train ride. And I love that train. It's just coming into view. A steam engine. And this one. Oh, here I can use either side as well. There's a dancing girl here. And this guy is looks like, I don't know, he's got some kind of a machine that they used to use, used to use in the olden days. <gasps> Oh, Dracula. Dracula, look. He's going to bite her on the neck. Dracula. Aren't these awesome pictures? And even the ones that I don't know what they are, just because they're awesome, when I do a... a Mixed media, it, I don't need to know what it is. Now here is just a beautiful, it looks like a um, like the hieroglyphics, sort of, kind of. Oh, and here, looks like it's a... Um, I don't know, could that be the tomb of Jesus? And could that be Jesus right there? That's what I would guess. And oh, this, some of them are really little, so I have a hard time seeing. But this looks like a young lady playing at a harpsichord. And this looks like a whole bunch of people. And this looks like a whole bunch of more people dancing. 
and this looks like I don't know what it looks like. Okay, the Nazarene story, Howard Gay as Jesus, Eric von Strohen as the shorter of the two Pharisees. Okay, so now it's all starting to fall together. It's all start out of the cradle, endlessly rocking. Uniter, uniter, uniter up here and hereafter. Lillian Gish is the woman who rocks the cradle. Okay, so that little picture was a picture of a woman rocking a cradle. Oh my gosh, now I'll have to look at these all over again, well, wherever she went. This is amazing. This was, maybe that could have been the woman rocking the cradle. They're little, I know you can't hardly see. But even these tiniest pieces in a mixed media, do you see how tiny these are just slivers of paper that some people would throw away? But you can put those on mixed media art projects, and they are perfect. They are perfect. This is a very old rustic building. Oh, look at how beautiful this image is with that young lady and the bunny rabbits. That's beautiful. These are, oh, look at. Oh my word. Look at this lady holding the little baby. Could it be Mary and holding baby Jesus? Maybe. This is my future husband in my next life. And this is a piece of paper. And this is somebody. Oh no, we're looking at this side. Ooh. This is a lady with her dog, and it looks like an Irish setter. I've had two Irish setters in my life. Now this, now after I get done with that husband over there, then this is going to be my, in my next, next life, this is going to be my husband. And here, fodder for mixed media, some more, some more for my mixed media. Ooh, look at these. Ah, oh, I bet she was cut. There's one of them that I can use either side. Either this side or this side. I, I sound like the eye doctor. Does this look better or this? Is this one clearer or this? Look what my eye doctor does. Years new, newly opened Nickelodeons invariably build as their initial attraction, just as years later with the coming of the talkies, theaters which had closed to be wired for sound always re reopened with the Al Josens, the singing fool. As soon as the movies learned to tell stories, they began to film the classics. Porter himself brought Uncle Tom's Cabin to the screen in what for the Nickelodeon era, era had all the earmarks of a modern super production. The tabloids, the backdrops, the painted light of this delicious film breathe forth the odor of the 19th century popular theater. Isn't that awesome? Here is a blank piece of paper. You know what you do with a blank piece of paper? You put something on it. That's what you do. You put something on it. I will put something on this blank piece of paper. And here is, you know what this looks like to me is the, the seating in an amphitheater. That kind of looks like the seating in an amphitheater. There's more stuff to read there, but I'm not. I I want to see what I won. This is. Oh wait a minute. Oh look at this. 
I have long distance friendships and it's an ATC. Thank you for being a friend. And look at that. It's got the butterfly and look at the um, braiding around the edge. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh. Tanya, you are just a sweet doll. And bubble wrap, I can pop these bubbles. I got to just pop one, just a minute. There, I popped one. Now, let me see, let me see. I got to see what this is. I'm looking, I'm opening it, I am getting it. I am hearing thunder. Oh, let's see, it says, please note, not heat treated, enjoy the healing vibration that comes forth by Tanya Kowalowski. Love and light shared via Intuitive Acrylic Art Healing Creations Group. And I was the art draw winner. I just, oh, oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my word. There's cork on the back. Look at this. Oh my gosh, is this beautiful. I'm going to have to get, I want to hang it on the wall. So I'm going to get a, oh, this is beautiful. I bet it is not showing up on camera as it looks in real life. This is beautiful. Tanya, this is beautiful. I've not ever had a pour. I bought some flow trawl or something like that that so that I couldn't do a pour, but I've not ever done it yet. And look at this. And it's got, she's got gold on the edge. This is beautiful. Oh my word. Monthly meeting of angels. Acrylic artist, amethyst angel, angel intuitive. Oh my gosh. I just, this is amazing. This is truly amazing. This is more than amazing. This, this is beautiful. I love the colors. I love the way it flows. This is something that I could sit here and look at and I believe that you could look at something like this and watch the flow of colors because it almost looks like they're moving. I know they're not moving, but it almost looks like they're moving. And this is you know, they say when you want to meditate or just empty your mind of clutter and just calm yourself and to de-stress. They say if you focus on something, just focus on one thing and let everything else just disappear out of your mind. This is something that I believe I could focus on this. I could focus on this and I could go into a, a whole nother state and a whole nother 
oh, I don't know what to call it. I could go into a, a whole nother realm. Something just focusing on this. Right now, I just want to keep looking at it, but I know that would keep you guys from dinner. And the Lord knows we don't want to miss dinner. Tian, I love this. I love this. I thank you so much for allowing this to come to my home. That is beautiful. This is beautiful. Now I want to do some pours. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, this is beautiful. I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to... Today I'm going to read out of... Oh, that is beautiful. You are stronger than you know. Okay. Oh, I opened to something that says the war inside my body. There is a war inside my body. My brain explodes with bombshells of pain. The fog of the front line never clears. My muscles fire their artilleries as the director feeds on them. My blood and my heart beat on, bear on, passing resources along the supply chain, hoping they are not stolen by the marauding enemy. My Immune system is under siege, surrounded and weakening day by day. But the dictator doesn't understand that. If I weaken, so does he. The more he destroys, 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 the dictator only sees the present. He only wants to survive now to see his children flourish in the ripe and supple landscape that shrivels and decays the longer he resides there. Me, my own muscles, my brain, my blood, overrun and oppressed, subdued and subjected. This war is painfully intense and it feels as if victory will surely be his, but I will fight for freedom so that verdant things, healthy things, fertile things grow in my heart, my flesh, my mind once more someday. I will run along the pathways of the earth and my imagination will fly amongst starlit skies and the war inside my body will be no more. That was written by Taryn O'Brien. That is very deep. That is very deep. And those words say a lot. And so that was my reading for today. I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope you got something from that. And I thank you, all four of you, for sending, sending me these beautiful, beautiful gifts. Beautiful gifts. I just... They're beautiful. They're beautiful. They warm my heart. They are, I mean, each and every one has its own meaning, its own meaning, and its own love. And your spirits, like I have the spirits of four people right here in front of me today. It's like you are in my home with me. Like you are here with me in my home. These beautiful things. So there is, there is Sybil who sent all the way from Germany. There is um, T Tanya who sent all the way from Australia. And then Isla spent, sent from Pennsylvania. And then... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, help me here. Okay, Isla from Pennsylvania. Oh, and then Beetle Chick, my dear, dear Beetle Chick. Wait a minute, where's Beetle Chick come from? North Carolina, yes. North Carolina. So, uh, you know how much, you, how much strength that gives me? I don't even know how to put it into words. But 
all four of you, beautiful ladies, and I mean this whole week, like Jane has sent me, just you ladies, just, I don't know. I don't know what to say. To know that I um, cared about and loved warms the cockles of my heart. With that, I'm going to say God bless you all. Thank you so much for watching. And may God watch over you every step you take and every move you make. And I will see you on either your next video or my next video. God bless.